Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Working Horses with Jim. Today, we have a couple things going on. I'm, we're, I'm getting Baron ready to go up and get some new shoes. Jim will be taking them up to the shoer in just a minute, so I just wanted to give him a, a thorough brush over before he goes, make sure his legs are all clean. And I try to do with all my horses when I'm brushing them is to give them a hug. Have any of you found that um, brushing the legs <clears throat> is hard because they have so many sides it's easy to miss in one, in one vantage point and you've got to look a few different ways. I get it all? tail a little brush. There. ready to go get get into the trailer hi everybody so as Brenda says we're taking Baron up to get his feet for his sh shoes to get re reset um, it's been about eight weeks now all four shoes are still very very tight so the my shoe is doing a great job um, but it's time to reset we strive for eight uh, six to eight weeks to reset these shoes. Um, it's generally eight weeks, but we sometimes we do as early as six. Um, we do have snow pads on these right now, but they will be coming off because we're coming out of the snow season. And so they'll just be regular shoes on after that. So anyways, I'm gonna throw a blanket on. We probably don't need a blanket today, but it's like uh, 30 degrees. It was, it was quite cold last night, ground's frozen, but uh, um, we'll still throw a blanket on just the same. Bang it on. Get 
it's surprising. I've thrown this blanket on almost every day this winter. And uh, under the right conditions, he still spooks a little bit when I throw it on. He probably wonders why he doesn't have his harness on first. Yeah, probably. This is the first time I've put him up into this front. Um, I've been going to do it all winter, but I just haven't done it. And he's used to standing straight like this. So it's going to take a little bit of doing to get his butt over there. Okay. Brandon, can you just swing me that door? So it's something new, but he needs to get used to that because I might want to trail him in that position. So if you're new to our channel, we do have quite a few um, videos on shoeing. If you check out our playlist, they're there. But he is going up to the Amish Farrier up the road, yep. just a few miles away. And I just leave him there, and I come back and do some work, and then I go back and pick him up. Does he have it made or what? He's got it made. Say hi, Skeppy. So Jim is back from taking Baron up and he is taking some hay out for Lady and Bill to be outside. And yes, it is very muddy. He's finding a spot that is high and dry. Meanwhile, Ken has taken over Baron stall, he was in the box stall and he's still pretty dirty from yesterday. But he is taking that spot right now. Can you say hi, Kenny? He says hi to everybody. Here 
comes Billy. Skip. Lady. Here, lady. Here. Here. Jim is cutting up some firewood this morning, so let's join him and see how he does it. Well folks, that's how I like to cut these logs up. It works really good. Just take them off the escalator. I don't have to bend my back so much for the escalator holds them up. But, look what happened here. Get all that stuff in there. One shot down through there. My saw is dull. So, it's just the way it works sometimes. We're gonna sharpen it up and we'll finish it up. I have a question. What do you, what do people who don't have an excavator to cut up their firewood do if they have a big pile? Just 
like a big pile off the side that they just cut it up right there as she sits. So you find it so much easier to have it up in the air? Yes, so much easier. Question number two. You got a lot of questions this morning. I know. I'm tired of answering them all. <laughs> really? What? Um, That looks like a, it would make a really good planter for some plants. Fill it with dirt and it would be really right? cute. Well, yeah, you could use it as a culvert, but I, I, you know think, what that, I think I might take that. Do you know what that is? For wood? Uh, well, it's a hardwood. It's an apple tree. Really? Yeah. Actually, that's supposed to be really good wood. Good firewood, yeah. Yeah, good firewood. But yeah, I'm snagging that. When it's filled with, filled with dirt, though, I'm not sure if it's dirt or if I have stone in there, what I have, what I have, but I knew when it's going through there. <laughs> you can see top. right out through the other side. Yeah. Um, I knew it dulled my saw and it dulled it fast. So, anyways. Gee, I, I'm glad I was along today so I could see this piece of wood. So anyways, we'll get sharpened up and get this job done. Well, he's back at it. work to get that dirt out of that stump. So as you can see, I waited. I'm going to cut that piece right there and this will be the last piece I cut in half just in case there's still some stuff in there that will dull my saw. Those are nice looking planters too. I needed more. Well, there they are. <laughs> okay, so this is what I'm gonna cut now. I just need the wagon, so I wanted to unload that. The pile that's sitting over there can sit for a while and I can cut that whenever I wanna cut it, whenever I have time. Um, so now it's uh, sleeting out right at the moment <laughs> and who knows what the weather's gonna bring. Hi guys, we're on our way up to pick up Baron and we have we have a surprise for us <laughs> but i want to show you guys what it is in the harness shop See 
outside here. I was going to say, where is Barry? Okay. When I brought him down, I took his blanket off and left it there because he didn't need it and I probably won't even bother putting it on even now as we go home. Hi. Well, I gotta get my horse first, so. He is in the shop? Okay, yeah. So this is a very enterprising Amish family. So he does my shoeing, he has the hunter shop, and he also makes sheds. Of course, he has a lot of kids. And uh, they do quite well. Are those mats? They are. Let's go check them out. You know, the mats in my trailer, I'm not very happy with it. Oh, that's not mats, it's, it's practical board. It's firewood. Uh -oh. There he is, all ready for us. Okay. It's all loaded up. It's only like five minutes down to our farm. So blanket is not extremely necessary at this point. Hey. So Eli's busy working on a saddle today. Yeah. Is this the one you were talking about that you lost the number of the guy that? Yeah. yeah. Lost the address. So you're putting the, these on? Yeah, I put all those. Wow. Those nice work. work. So it's custom saddles by somebody else. You better change this. No, I didn't make the saddle. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't make the saddle, unfortunately. Wish I did. So, uh, how was Baron? Um, it was good. So the hind leg, the hind feet, what? Did they, any issue at all there, really? No, I did not. It's Other be. than they're still trying to grow more on the inside than the outside, which I think is always going to be the issue. Right. But it should, with shoes, it should be fine, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah the shoes will be fine. Okay. Good, good. Yeah. All right. So I want to just show our viewers this new, new harness that we got. Okay. So guys, I decided to... I decided to spend the money, and it's very hard for me to spend money, but I decided- Spend Brenda's money. Spend Brenda's <laughs> money, yeah. I decided to spend the money and buy an, another new set of harnesses. This is exactly the same uh, harness that Eli made for me before. Um, and then before that, his father made me the original set. So this will be the third set of harnesses that I've, new harnesses that I've purchased in the past Oh, I don't know how many years it's been. It's been quite quite a while now, actually. Um, so I'm very pleased with this, but as you can see, we're missing the hames. 
So we're still waiting on the Hames. They should be coming in very soon. And when we get them, we'll get them home and try them on. This will, this will be for Duke and Arrow, this harness. And uh, I'm pretty excited about this. And the old harnesses that I've been using them, I think I sold them to another guy. So, um, although that has not happened yet, but maybe it will. Anyways, uh, we'll get going on this and, and uh, we'll pick these up when we have the Hames, but I came down to do the hardest part of all, and that's to pay the bill. Mm. I did want to show one other thing though. I'm also, I'm also purchasing some of these snaps. Now these snaps are the same snaps that I've been using for years on my lines. Um, Eli, is these, these actually aren't what people use for lines? Isn't there another use for that you There's... guys use? Some people use those lines. Most people use those on like the hold bags and the buggy shit. I thought so, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. There's another kind that people use for lines, which would be this one right here. Right, but these break. Yeah. I have had just hundreds of them breaking mm -hmm. over time. I mean, they're fine, but they, and also they get unsnapped easy. Mm -hmm. They get caught on things. But this type of buckle, I've had such good luck with. I have been using these for years and years, and I don't know, I might have broken one or two. Um, I don't think I've ever had one come off. I don't think I've ever had one caught into a piece of something else. But these, I've had issues with. Mm -hmm. So I prefer these so, so much more. They're probably more expensive, but to me, they're well worth it. Yes. So anyways, I'm going to buy four of these so that we have these on other others. And uh, I had brought down my lines off a of Baron's harness so that uh, Eli could get the exact measurements on that so that he can make the new lines for my new harnesses to be exactly the same. I like to have all my lines the same. Okay, so that's it. Maybe if you want to just show around a little bit of what Eli makes here, that'd be good. And this is okay. what he's got in stock okay. here. Okay, and I got the measurements on those lines, so it should be good on that. I think it's that. So I need the shoeing, the harnesses, and this. Is this your pond out here? Yes. I thought you put the pond way back to the farm. No. That's always going to happen. Okay. Well, it's, there was always a small pond back there in that okay. corner. But never anything that really amounted to that much. Did you get much ice off it? We had the three quarters full. Okay. Yeah. okay. How thick was it? Thick of that? About like six, feet. seven inches. That's really strange because for some reason our pond did not freeze up very good at all. I don't know if there's uh -huh. just too much water flowing through there or what, but it yeah. just did not. This one didn't want to freeze as good as my brother's. His was out in the open and that seemed to get a thicker layer of ice. Okay. We had like four inches and he had seven inches. Okay. So it's just... But you waited till it was six inches and then you caught it? We waited inches. after, while it warmed up and then it froze. It's just, yeah, you know how the winter was yeah. up and down. Yeah. And we were going to Ohio, we come back and the kids said, yeah, the ice house is three quarter full. I said, well, that's great, I'll go to Ohio again. You oh, they did it. <laughs> yeah. But Joe over here is the one that... The, oh, they came and helped do it. Yeah, he had a nice house and then Ben helped too. So. Okay. okay. But Ben didn't get, he didn't get much into his ice. He only got one or two loads. Right. He wanted to do another shot and I said, never made it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Never got sick enough. I said, I'm not going on three, four inches of ice. No way. No. It's just too dangerous. Yeah. Someday I'd love to come up here and do a video of your ice house. I know I did take a small video, but I never used it. I, mm -hmm. I think people would love to see these new modern <laughs> ice houses. Yeah. Okay, shoot. So I'll give you a little close up of this um, saddle. All this he's putting on, it's beautiful. I'm also discouraged with that ordeal. Yeah, I will show up, but I just. It is. Who, who is that? Anybody? I know. Guy from Russell. And he probably goes by here almost every day. So I'll put the oh. sign up. Hey, settle me. <laughs> yeah, but if you guy by it every day, you can stop. He, right? I told him around two months, and it's probably been a month now. Uh, I just wanted to get it in out of here. Just open that door. Morning, 
Jenny. Baron, you look pretty cool in your new shoes. So there we are. Reset all the way around. Snow pads are off. So I hope you like this video. You guys have a great day. We'll see you next time.